how do I think the pyramids were built? To be honest, I have no answer to that question. And anybody who tells you that he or she knows how the pyramids were built are not telling the truth because we don't know. We don't know. Now, no modern builder would create a large building and add onto his or her shoulders the additional burden of aligning it to true north within a fraction of a single degree. They just wouldn't get it. They wouldn't understand why it was important to do that. But something drove the builders of the Great Pyramid to go to a very great additional trouble, not only to create this massive imposing monument, but also to lock it on to true north. And then other things, to incorporate into its dimensions the dimensions of our planet. I don't want to get too numerical or, or possibly even boring here, but if you take the height of the Great Pyramid and multiply it by 43,200, you get the polar radius of the Earth. And if you measure the base perimeter of the Great Pyramid accurately and multiply that measurement by 43,200, you get the equatorial circumference of the Earth. Pyramids are some of the greatest legacies of ancient human civilization and some of the world's greatest works of architecture. When we think of pyramids, the first structures that come to mind are those constructed for the pharaohs of Egypt. However, the country with the most pyramids is actually Sudan, counting over 255 pyramids and temples. Pyramids are present all over the world. These pyramids range from tombs to temples. Some are even believed to map out the stars.